This is the first in a series of steamer updates. This video is about working with the unit. I found that I like working with a vapor steamer for nano coating. I like it because it is very convenient, but there have been some changes since my first video, so I wanted to do this update. The new units have a max fill line stamped into the metal dish. That's about 25 milliliters of caustic for each steaming. When the power button is pressed, the unit starts a three minute warm up cycle. The unit will automatically shut itself off after 30 minutes. Older units would shut off automatically after 45 minutes. It's not enough to depend on the unit to automatically shut itself off. That's because the electronics that control the unit must be powered up in order for the unit to work. Heat will build up on the circuit board so power must be cut after every steaming cycle. I found that it is convenient to use a plug-in countdown timer with the steamer. That way power will automatically be cut when the steaming cycle is complete. I've had good results with a 25 minute heating cycle from a cold start to finish. The unit has a polypropylene liner made from a food container. It also has a wire mesh cage that helps keep the plates vertical for more uniform nano coating. The polypropylene liner was made from a food container like this one. This is how a 3 inch by 8 inch plate fits into the unit. It's been my experience that every unit I have worked with has leaked sooner or later. Wet caustic can cause the heating element to short out and burn out the circuit board. I've come up with two modifications to extend the service life of these units. First I will seal the metal dish with watertight adhesive to protect the heating element from moisture. Next, I will add a fuse to protect the circuit board in the event of a heater short. I have also found a source to obtain a replacement heating element in order to be able to rebuild a unit if the heater fails or becomes weak. I hope you find this information to be useful. Thank you for watching.